First of all, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about the outline of my talk. I'll start with a very brief introduction and very basic about DNA, uh, genetic variation, and so uh, molecular techniques that I think will help follow better the rest of my talk. Uh, after that, I'll start with uh, sorry, I'll start with colorectal cancer, which is the disease that we study in our group. Then I'll move on to genetic association studies, which uh, was the first approach that we used to study the germline genetic predisposition to this disease. After that, uh, I'll continue with next generation sequencing, which is the second uh, uh, approach that we have used so far. And actually, it's the main part of my talk. It's the most active uh, research line that we have right now in our research group. And I'll end uh, my talk with some future research prospects in our group, uh, most of them regarding next generation sequencing. So I'll start uh, with the DNA introduction. And uh, I'll start saying that DNA is a molecule that has achieved relevance and importance in our society in the last 20 or around 20, 30 years. And when that happens, <clears throat> when something achieves relevance and importance in our society, it usually uh, <clears throat> transcends, goes beyond its normal environment, and moves into, co uh, into popular culture. So in my next slide, I'm going to show you some ex examples of uh, this transition of DNA from the normal environment that we know so well, the research laboratories, into some expressions in popular culture just to prove you of that relevance. For example, we can have DNA in uh, any of these uh, bestseller books uh, that have uh, DNA in their plots. If you don't like reading that much, you can go to see a movie uh, from another book by Michael Crichton, which is uh, Jurassic Park. And in that movie, you will see an animation called Mr. DNA that will explain you how dinosaur DNA was used to clone uh, these uh, creatures back to life. Uh, if, if you are too young to have seen that movie, because it was released in the early 90s, uh, probably you have seen one of the blockbusters from the X-Men series, which uh, in those movies you have a bunch of individuals 